There is no doubt that the economy of the United States has advanced as a result of electrification, and coal has been a big part of that. Coal is a fossil fuel formed over 250 million years ago. At that time, much of the earth was covered with damp, steamy jungles of lush vegetation. As these plants died, new plants grew over them, and more plants. The layers of decaying plants on the jungle floor soon began to decompose into peat, which looks much like rotted wood. Then great oceans flooded the land, covering the peat with a thick layer of sand and mud. Finally, the great weight of the sand and mud and water squeezed the soft peat into rock, a rock that burns, called coal. Coal is the plants and forests that were around hundreds of millions of years ago. And in, in essence, it was nature's way of taking carbon out of the atmosphere, improving the climate so that there was less carbon and it was a safer and healthier place for humans to live today. Coal for over 100 years has been the largest source of energy to meet our electrical needs. Here in the United States, most of our electricity comes from burning coal. Nuclear power provides about 20% of our electricity. Other sources of electricity include oil, natural gas, diesel fuel, and we do get some renewable energy, things like hydropower, geothermal, wind and solar energy. In North America, there are three grids. There's east of the Rocky Mountains, west of the Rocky Mountains, and Texas. Everything east of the Rocky Mountains, with the exception of Texas, is all interconnected. The electricity goes into this transmission grid. Customers draw power from that transmission grid. Their power comes from Amos and all the other plants working together as a system. There's about 500 coal burning power plants today operating in the United States. America is addicted to coal. Over half of our electric supply is dependent upon coal including uh, many ancient, uh, poorly functioning, inefficient coal-fired power plants. Like an addict, we're engaged in self-destructive behavior associated with coal, destroying much of Appalachia, destroying water supplies in coal mining regions, polluting the air with, with acid gases and heavy metals, and destabilizing the environment. If we were to collect all those costs and build them into the cost of electricity, electricity would be a lot more expensive. Right now we're essentially imposing those costs on other people. Burning coal is the biggest contributor the United States makes to the global warming problem. Our political leaders are in denial about global warming, largely. Therefore, they have no plan to stop burning coal. And in fact, they want to burn more coal. They have absolutely no vision for an energy policy for the United States that does anything else than continue to rely upon coal and oil. For decades, the industry has talked about a 250-year supply of coal, but a recent study by the National Academy of Sciences and the U.S. Geologic Survey couldn't confirm that number, and their estimate was more like perhaps 100 years supply of coal at current usage rates. The coal industry and elements of the utility industry project that coal will increase dramatically, perhaps 50% above its current level. At that rate, we're looking at a, a coal supply that begins to run out in our children's lifetimes. For us to burn it all up in this generation is unconscionable. There's a handful of, of mega corporations that own the, the coal in the ground. So as they're promoting this as the big solution, what they're really doing is promoting the very large corporate interests held by a very few. As the coal industry has um, influenced national policy you know, inordinately uh, over the last eight years, I think the public has started to recognize that you know, this is how this works and there may be alternatives. Coal has been a part of our history. It's a part of our present infrastructure and lifestyle. But we need to make a transition to get us in a position where we're not addicted to coal, uh, that we're planning our energy future sensibly and we are on a path uh, to recovery. 
there's a human face to, to uh, the electricity grid, and the human face is our neighbors whose communities are really harmed. They're hurting because we have decided that coal is our future. Once you know that, you can't just plug a plug in as though you didn't have that information. If you like to solve problems, this is something you want to get involved in because there's never been quite so complicated a problem that we've faced in this country.